All right, so we are going to check out Billy Joel's The Stranger. And there ain't nobody stranger than the man sitting next to me. That's a lie. I've met a couple weird fellas. Do you know the song? Because I might. I don't think I do. Okay. Let's send it. Let's hit it.
got to let it fade out. I am. You're a monster. <laughs> hmm. What are your thoughts on that song? Well, so. <sighs> Not Joel. I have a name, a Aaron. Monster. I honestly, I think I would, I would have appreciated more if we cut out the first 30 seconds of the song. I think that was most important. Well, there were still 30 more seconds of it, <laughs> of the same thing. And I didn't want, I don't want to cut out the last 30 seconds of the song simply because that piano, the piano notes in there. And I did enjoy those. But the first 30 seconds can go. I think they're both equally as important. But first, I, share your thoughts. I think you're less important. All right. I need you to calm down. You don't know me. <laughs> I really like how the song is pointing out that just because you know somebody doesn't mean you know everything about them. There's always parts of everybody that they keep inside, and they don't always show anybody all their parts. And kind of shows the importance of letting some of that out and truly expressing yourself. Yeah. For who you are instead of leaving parts of you hidden. Because leaving parts of you hidden, it feels bad for your health, honestly. Your mm -hmm. mental health. See. Music, but I did thoroughly enjoy the song. Me too. Um, For me, I love the slow piano and whistling at the beginning. I thought it was very you know, eerie but calming. And then... When the unexpected rock beat came up with the twang and the guitar and the drums, I liked that transition. It sounded nice. Yeah. Um, and as far as the song goes, yeah, very relatable. It's, he's proven a point. I have only heard a handful of his songs, mm -hmm. and I honestly, regrettably, have not paid much attention to the lyrics of them. You got to fix that, don't too you? Too close. Yeah. Because I typically have not listened to much songs from this era or really right. anything before the 90s just because of the way I was raised. Um, so when I go back to listen to them, I'm surprised at how relatable some of the ly lyrics are. Yeah. Uh, like this one. Also, I love how the verse and the chorus, the sound of it could even hold up to a today's song. Yeah. And I'm not sure what the part after the chorus is, if that's the refrain or, or what, when he goes all falsetto, I feel like that's definitely like a staple of whenever this was released. Was it the seventies or something? I could find out for you. Sixties, seventies, probably. Maybe early 80s. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But the thing that I loved about the intro. 77, bud. Thank you. And outro was I feel like the intro and outro with the subtle, mysterious part was the stranger. That's the stranger. But once he actually starts speaking, it gets all upbeat like a facade. Like, this is exciting. Okay. Look at me. And that's, you know, the portrait you paint society around you. But then at the end, when the song ends, you go back inside of yourself and you're with yourself. And that's the importance of the intro and outro. I think that's what happened. Okay, okay. With that all together, I thought that was a really impressive song. And I can see it. <laughs> over the years, the more I hear Billy Joel, I want to delve more into his discography. Typically, for me, a name like that is so big, it's almost like... Like, you should have heard it. He's been around. Nothing special. Like he's Billy Joel's famous. kind of on a mountaintop. Yeah. So, being younger, like, I never really, like, delved into him or a lot of other artists. And you feel weird because when you because, hear a song by him, you're like, I don't know that. So, or I didn't know it was by him. But it's just kind of funny how growing up you were, I guess, like, attuned to not appreciate certain things just because everyone else appreciates them or has appreciated them. Yep. Like myself, I just wanted to get into the newer rock well, or modern I think, music. I think that plays the role in we all want to grow up too fast as well. So we all want what's newest, what's best, what's because newer is always better. Yeah. It wasn't until I turned maybe like 26, 27. I started to delve more into older artists like the Eagles. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed a lot of their music. I grew up more on Elvis and the Beach Boys. You grew up on <laughs> Elvis? Yeah. I never knew that. Uh -huh. Beach Boys I could see. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. My my grandparents always had the one of the, like, the collector things for Elvis on CD. Mm -hmm. And I always grabbed it and threw it on. Nice. 
So what would you rate this song? Uh, this song, I would rate a 6.3, and I'll add it to a playlist. Nice. I think this one is a 7.4 for me. With a, with a chance to get higher, I'd definitely will add it to my oldies playlist. Nice. For sure. Um, I liked it. I think it was a banger. Banger, not a landmine. Not a landmine. Let's go. What did the chat think? What's I'm the sure chat say? I'm sure you already heard this song. Probably.